customer information. The GPU gate line has been reduced. This is to prevent overcrowding at the top of the escape. Oh, Earlier on in the year, there was um, a fair vader who pushed his way through the barrier here at London Bridge Station. He was um, challenged by a member of staff as to where his ticket was in a normal manner. Um, and what the guy had decided to do was to embark on a series of assaults on the station staff, our members there. Um, one guy got punched, one of our members. Um, another one, uh, a female member was actually pregnant was pushed in the stomach and then when someone went to step in between her and the Fair Vader, he was headbutted and punched. The staff took action to basically get him to leave the station. He carried on his assaults, assaulted another member of staff again, then stole the member of staff's glasses. So with that, they um, asked him to leave the station, went to get the glasses back off of him. And then the next thing we knew there's disciplinary proceedings being launched against our members, which ended in one of them being summary dismissed and two of them receiving suspended dismissal and a 52-week warning. The staff here today are absolutely incensed that a colleague could be treated like this by the management team, fired for being assaulted and going back and getting the glasses. There was a botched investigation where people who were there weren't even interviewed, including the pregnant member of staff um, who'd been assaulted. They've taken down the posters advising members of the travelling public not to assault staff. Staff are more exposed than they've ever been with the closure of ticket offices. There's nobody behind protective glass anymore. They're out there in the front line quite often working on their own late at night. These staff stations, night tube. The risk of assault and pressure on staff has massively increased. They've still taken hundreds of jobs out of the front line on London Underground stations, you know, and it's just like a pressure cooker. We've got a strike on today of the staff working at London Bridge themselves. London Underground are staff in a station with people who are not familiarised with the station, people who aren't station staff and area managers. And if there happened to be an incident here and the need to evacuate, the people they've got in here do not meet the requirements to safely evacuate the station. So there could be members of the public put at risk by the actions that management are taking. When the strike finishes, the action short of the strike is going to begin dealing with a situation that the staff are facing here and that is if they come across a fair dodger not to challenge him or her but to keep themselves safe. There's a decision to take a ballot for the rest of the whole of London Underground stations which is thousands of station staff on London Underground are going to be have to be balloted over this. And also the feelings there amongst other grades there's, there's drivers, engineers prepared to take action. Management and City Hall and the Mayor of London refocus on getting a solution to this because that's what we want. That has to include the member of staff who's been fired being reinstated into London Underground but can continue to do that fantastic job that they've done up to now. So really the next call is with management. All they've got to do is pick up the phone.